Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss introduction to programming. First, we learn what is computer. Computer is an electronic device. It takes data as an input, processes it and gives information as an output. For example, if I need to find out sum of two numbers, two numbers that we give it to the computer are called as inputs or data. The sum operation itself is known as process and the result that will be given as an output is known as information. Computer is used to solve real world problems quickly and efficiently. Because computer is diligent, computer can perform operations quickly, computer can remember a lot of information in a small space. There are a lot of advantages of computer. Computer has no self-intelligence like us. We need to tell computer what to do, how to process, step by step in a specific order. A set of instructions or commands written in a specific order is known as program. A process of writing such programs is known as programming. What is programming? Programming is a way of telling a machine or a computer what to do. To help programmers to communicate with machines or computers over the years, many programming languages have been developed. What is a programming language then? Programming language is a way of communication between programmers and machines. We can compare programming languages with human languages easily. What is a human language? Human language is a way of communication between humans. It is a way of communication between more than one persons. Similarly, programming language is a communication between programmers and computers or machines. As we know that there are many programming languages have been developed. Programming languages are divided into two types mainly low level programming languages and high level programming languages. Low level programming languages are divided again into two different types machine level programming languages, assembly level programming languages. High level programming languages are divided into two types general purpose programming language and specific purpose programming language. We discuss about programming languages a lot later step by step we understand what are the advantages and disadvantage of each type of programming language. Human languages like English, Hindi, Japanese etc etc etc. How we learn any language or how we learned the English language itself. First we learned character set of that language. What are the alphabets, digits, special symbols available? Then we understood how to create words and what are the meanings of those words. That is vocabulary of the language itself. Then we learned how to create sentences. Then after that we learned how to create paragraphs. Then we learned how to create lessons. After that we understood how to write a complete book itself. This is a process of learning a language, right? We understand syntax and semantics of the language. We understand grammar of the language. We know what is a word. Word means meaningful group of characters. Sentence means meaningful group of words. A paragraph is a meaningful group of sentences. A book is a meaningful group of lessons. A collection of books is known as library, right? Similarly, we can compare the human language with the programming language. While learning programming language also we follow the same steps. Let's discuss these steps. Here we have a comparison human languages versus programming languages. While learning programming languages also we learn what are character set of that specific programming language. That means what are the alphabets, digits, special symbols available in that programming language. Then we learn tokens of that programming language. We understand how to group these character sets to create keywords, variables, constants, strings, characters, operators available in the programming language, etc, etc, etc. Then we learn how to create instructions or how to write commands. Then we learn how to group these instructions to create programs or methods. Then we learn how to group these programs and make them interact to create a software or a package. A group of softwares in one place or a group of packages in one place is called as library. A group of programs is called as a software. A set of instructions in a specific order is called as a program. 
A smallest unit of a programming language is called as a token. So we follow the same step. You can see character set in human language is same as a character set in programming language. Words in a human language is same as a tokens in programming language. Instructions and commands in a programming language means sentences in a human language. Methods or programs are similar to paragraphs and lessons in human languages. Softwares and packages in programming language are similar to books. So this is a process we are going to follow guys. Hope you guys have understood what is programming, what is a program, what is a programming language, why programming language, Pro why programming language? Of course, to communicate with machines. In the next tutorial, we get more information. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits, please subscribe, like, comment and share these videos. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing.